Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the time response. Okay, time response. So it is very very important topic in case of control system. So time response means before analyzing this, so first you look at the definition. Time response of a control system means how the response behaves. How the response behaves in accordance with the time when specific input test signal is applied to the system. So in order to understand this simply we have a one system. We don't know what is the system but we are applying some system. Okay. For the system we are giving some input. And we should take we will get the output. Right. Any system. Here how the response of the system response of the system means here the output is nothing but the response out the name is the response behave in accordance with the time with the time how it behaves for specific input signal so in order to understand this just i am giving a input signal of unit step signal i am giving some unit step signal is applied to the system and by applying to the system input is unit step signal and we will get the output is like this the output signal is like this it will have some some linearly increases and it will reach some point it will give some output so this is the u of t take it as this is the c of t output signal so observe here the time response means look at here here the output waveform is varies like this with the change in the time understand time response means the response of the system that means output of the system how behaves with the change in the time look at here here the time behaves time behaves means time magnitude is increases like this with the change in the time that will be explained for this particular test signal for this signal it will be like this for the different signal it will be different when the input is varied the response of the time also varied okay that will be clearly explained by the time response okay for a, you will take any system you will give any input you will get the any output okay so here in order to understand the time response so we, we can divide into time response into two parts the first part is the first part we can name it as the transient response so first is the transient response okay and second one is the steady state response steady state response here name itself if you observe here transient response means output is not fixed it will be varied it will be varied it doesn't have any particular time period look at here output is starts from zero and up to this point output up to this point it will be increases and it will reach the point and after that it will be fixed so for this particular level we can assume as it is a transient response transient response after it reaching some point it will be fixed we can take it as a steady state response steady state response so analyzing the transient combination of transient response as well as steady state response will give the complete time response will give the complete time response okay so we will discuss each and every response theoretically then we will do the some calculations about the time response the first is the transient response here the initial part of the response of the control system is transient response so in the previous case we will get we will get the waveform the output waveform is like this the previous session once again i will redraw this and it will be like this yes so this is the we can better to write c of t so zero it's a t 
this initial response this is called the initial response initial response the initial part of the response of the control system so it is the transient response the response reveals the nature of the response oscillatory or damper system that means sometimes it will be like this sometimes it will be the response will be different type damped means oscillatory means so sometimes the signal so the transient response is behaves like this this system is called oscillatory oscillatory it will have oscillatory means it consisting of the oscillations but here it look like a damping system there is no oscillations okay it is indication about its speed transient response means very very important thing it will give system speed it will give the its system speed speed of the system transient response will give the speed of the system so in order to find out the speed of any system we have to analyze the transient response we have to discuss the transient response otherwise we will not get about the speed of the system as time becomes very large transient rest becomes zero that means look at here so it is up to this point up to some we don't know some point some some t1 point after that there is no transient response transient response will be over here but after that steady state response will increase that means whenever time increases transient response becomes zero so we can we can say that directly transient response is like this transient response i can write with the some equation that equation is like this limit whenever t becomes infinite the transient response of the system will become zero okay that means that the meaning is whenever time reaches infinite then the output of the transient rest becomes zero so by do by this equation we can analyze we can understand this time next point it must contain exponential decay terms it must contain exponential decay terms that means for example it must be contain exponential terms how it it has it will contain e power minus t e power minus 2t e power minus 3t like the terms we have so by observing these terms directly the response is the transient response so in the problems if you observe these terms directly you can identify this this is the transient response right the pole slice on the left half of the side always gives the transient response you know that we have s plane is there in that s plane s plane is like this in the s plane yeah here which will give left s plane we can divide into two parts one is left half of s plane another one is the right half of s plane this part is left and this is the right the poles which are presented will give the transient response of the system the poles which lies on the left half of the s plane is the transient response of the system okay yeah this is about the transient response this is about the transient response okay transient response means which consisting of the exponential terms it is starting of the system and represents with this equation and left half of the the poles which lies on the left half of the s side left half of the side means s plane which will gives the transient response okay next steady state response so you know that the remaining part is the steady state response so it steady state name itself it is simply a steady state simply it will be steady fixed value so it will reach some point and it will be fixed right so this region this area is nothing but the steady state response steady state response that means the output is become steady it will be fixed the time period the magnitude is fixed transient mean it is not fixed okay 
the response that remains after the transient becomes zero is known as the steady state response okay whenever the transient becomes zero that means the entering is the steady state response it reveals the accuracy of the steady state error of a control system it will gives steady state error how much of error the system will consist will give by this steady state response it will give the steady state error what is the transient state will give transient state will give the speed of the system it is speed steady state response will give steady state error simply the poles which lies on the imaginary axis will give the steady state response that means so in the s plane we have two things this is the real real s plane and this is the imaginary s plane the poles which lies on the this imaginary axis is known as the steady state response so the importance of the poles and zeros will give real part poles will give left will give the this left side pole give the transient response imaginary axis pole will give the steady state response that means those those will be fixed there is no change the system will be no change okay so this is about the time response of a system so time response means simply output how the output is magnitude varies with respect to the time will give time response in that we have two things one is transient response another one is the steady state response okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you